Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So this is part two of the video and today we're going to be covering 4-in-1 ESCs, some stacks, some uh, frames, some motors, and quadcopters as well, and I think some other stuff as well here. Now, this list that I'm currently going to be showing you is not just a beginner setup guide. This is what I would actually purchase myself in 2021 right now, after all the knowledge, experience, and testing I've done. Now, there are some products that are not going to make it. That those are the ones that I haven't really tested, or they just didn't stand out um, enough in my mind for me to actually go and purchase myself. So first of all, this is one to kind of actually avoid, not purchase. It's not a bad ESC, but it's not a really great ESC as well. This one has its own weird, it just basically has a lot of noise and that's why they did this new design with the little capacitor built in. Um, still, uh, something's inherently kind of wrong with it. It'll still last, it'll still work, but there are some other better stuff out in the market. And again, everything here is linked down below in the order and we check them out. So let's go to the next one. So this is by far my number one rated 4-in-1 ESC, and believe it or not, it's only $52. This thing performs so good, the F50 and the F60, as you can tell, the F60, well, you can't really tell, but this is the F60. It's a bit more expensive, but this one here is one I would definitely recommend. I still have it on, a bunch of, I still have it on two quadcopters, still running absolutely flawless, has a lot of great filtration, and it is one I'd recommend, and um, I, I've just known to test. I've noise tested this thing, and it's just an absolute beast. Um, this performs better than most premium ESCs out there. This is actually considered premium in my opinion, even though it's 52 bucks. So yeah, this is a must have in my opinion. Next down the line, this one actually surprised me quite a lot because when this was first released, this came, uh, the, well, Rush FPV also released this filter board. And I was thinking, well, maybe the reason they released the filter board is because it was actually not that good. But come to my surprise, this thing tested absolutely insane. My ESC noise testing, I think you could search the video and you'll find them absolute perfection, which is really, really nice. Another ESC that I totally recommend. And I believe this one is also 30 by 30. So yeah, definitely check this one out if you're looking for an ESC. And believe it or not, they're cheaper than most other ESCs out there right now. So these are the ones that I truly highly recommend as in uh, good quality ESCs. Next down the line is frames. Now frames here, this is my favorite frame. I have three of these, seven, six, five, the HD variant, all of them. I love this quadcopter. It's my basher quadcopter, and I definitely recommend it. There's tons of frames out there that are really good and probably even better than this, but in my opinion, this is by far one of my favorites um, because default Betaflight pins just work absolutely gorgeous out of the box, and um, it's just, it's really nice uh, quadcopter to work with. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. Definitely recommend it. Next down the list is, this is a really good one, also 60 bucks. I'm trying to keep them budget. Uh, this is also really great. Anything from iFly almost is really great. So 123 gram kit here. So it's probably around 130 we could say, but um, yeah, it comes with a lot of stuff. What's really nice with um, iFly is they give you all the 3D printed parts you're probably going to need. Uh, so this is a really nice uh, kit as well, or just a frame I should say. This is also a really nice frame. You should definitely check out. So it comes with a lot of 3D printed parts. Uh, this can actually hold your DJI if you wanted to run DJI setup. You could do that, not the Cadex, the full-fledged one if you wanted to do that. It has a lot of mounting solutions and it is uh, separate. It's not a single bottom plate, which is really good. So if you break an arm, you could just easily replace one. Uh, another thing to always look out for. Uh, and that's the case with all three of these here that I showed. So next down the line, motors. Now, there's so many motors out there, so many motors out there, but honestly, if I was buying with my own money, and I'm not racing, this is this has a lot to do with racing as well, I wouldn't go super expensive because you're gonna end up breaking them. I still break motors to this day. So this is a really good budget option you could get. Uh, this is for 6S, you could find them. They're called the iFlight Shingis. Again, these are linked down below. And I believe I also have the 4S variant. So here's 4S, so if you're gonna be running a 4S battery, uh, this is the kind of motors you'd want. Again, these are for five inch setups. Next down the line is the Eco 2 motors. Not the, the Eco ones are okay, but honestly the Eco 2s are absolutely gorgeous. I've done a lot of testing on them and definitely recommended you could get any variant depending on your setup. 2306 1700 KV is an absolute sweet spot for those successes. S's. Um, next down the line, we have a quadcopter. This is the only quadcopter that actually stands out the most to me. It's so smooth, so reliable, so just built absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so this is a really, really nice one. You can actually go a little bit cheaper here, I think. Oh, actually a little bit more expensive. But this is the one with the DJI. It comes with that DJI also. I think it's this one right here, which I'll also have linked down below. 
this is the one I actually have tested. Definitely recommend it in my opinion. Uh, if you're looking for a five inch pre-built 6S setup, this is an absolute beast, absolute beast. So next down the line is another quad copter. This is a bit cheaper here. So as you can tell, just slightly cheaper, about 80 bucks or so cheaper. And this is the 6S here. This is definitely recommended. I've used it. I love it. It comes with everything you need, even the ND filter for your GoPro Hero 7, which is really nice. I think they still provide those with you. You're going to have to double check or you probably have to buy it separately, like you could tell down here. Uh, but this is a really good one, especially if you're on a strict budget. Definitely recommended uh, by a lot of people out there. This is the 4S variant, also linked down below. So if you wanted 4S instead of 6S. Now we're going to get into parts. Actually, a lot of things have gone up in price quite a lot like a lot so this one here is definitely recommended now the flight controllers you could get away with using almost any flight controller most of the time but it really comes down to the esc and if we take a closer look at the esc here we're using the f50 which is the one that i've also recommended in the beginning and for 90 bucks this is pretty good uh however you could also get the esc for 50 bucks and maybe you could maybe you could find a flight controller for 20 to 30 bucks which is almost impossible now which is pretty crazy uh, but this is, I think, one of the best deals you could currently find online. That's a proper setup here. Next down the line is a 20 by 20. This is an all-in-one. So this is slightly cheaper. It's kind of in the same category here. Not recommended for, well, you can't use it on a micro or a small build, but this will also work just fine on a large build. And uh, you should be fine in that perspective. It has everything you might want. Everything is one board here. So you have the flight controller, the power distribution, and also the ESCs are all into one board here. So this is a really good one from a very well-known company that a lot of people will stand by. Here's another one. This is definitely recommended again. We're using the F50 ESC here. Um, you know, th it's crazy that the best ESC is also the, the, the cheapest stack. Now, here's a cheaper stack, which I'll have the last one down in the links. However, the, the ESC is okay, but I definitely recommend you add low ESR capacitor. This, could, this would last you, but... Um, it's not up to standard to their latest models here, but if you are on a strict a strict budget, this will get you flying uh, just fine. Absolutely fine, actually. But just add the low ESR capacitor. I'm pretty sure they do provide. See, this is their older model of their ESCs. Actually, I still have one build that's running this. It's still very reliable. It is slightly noisy, but it's that, it, it, sometimes it actually outperforms some of the other premium ones, like the team motor ones unfortunately team motor something lately it just uh, they're not that that great especially the vlox ones were, were not that well they're okay but they weren't up to standards if i should say so this is also a really nice one i guess if you're on a super budget i would not go any cheaper than this um i would not even go with the like for example if we look here uh i, I would not even go with the 20 by 20 from mumba because the really the escs are pretty terrible actually um, but what they do is, is this the 20 by 20? Yeah, th th they're okay for a micro build, but if you're doing a five inch build, I definitely stay away from those. Um, but a 20 by 20, you'll be fine. I mean, like a little three inch quadcopter below, you're going to be totally fine here. Uh, but if you're planning on putting this on a five inch, you can get away with it for only so long, but eventually the ESC will blow. You won't have, uh, long lasting quadcopter i definitely would rather jump to this one uh this is slightly bigger has bigger fats it has more space to dissipate the heat um and theoretically you should be better off and well that's it for part two of the video guys everything is linked down below if you could check them out that'd be super awesome and i'll see you guys in the next one peace